guys, welcome back. Today I am back with another decluttering video. We are going to be tackling my foundation drawer. If you are familiar with my channel and my videos, you probably already know that I have reviewed a ton of foundations, over 35 I think to be more specific, and I've definitely tried closer to 50 just like outside of reviewing products and everything. So I definitely have a good amount of foundations, but I think you guys will be surprised at the same time by the amount that I do have. I mean, I do still have a full drawer of foundations, but I don't think it's going to be as insane as some of you are. Are probably expecting because when I moved in the winter I did get rid of a fair bit of foundations and I also am not really a person who has like multiple shades in foundations I have a couple that I do but for the most part I just have like one shade in each foundation so I think both of those things have kind of kept my collection from getting too out of hand but with that being said my drawer is way way too full be sure to check out the description bar for this video because I'll be linking any of my favorite foundations I'll also link any reviews for any of the foundations mentioned and I'm going to link my decluttering playlist because I've done quite a few at this point. Finally, before we get into it, because I know people always ask what I do with the makeup I am getting rid of, so I split everything into four categories. Number one is things I'm going to keep. Number two are products that I'm going to save for a family member or friend. Number three are products that are going to be donated to a local women's shelter. And if anything is like old or expired, it will go in the garbage. So that's what I do with everything. Just want to throw that out there in every one of these videos. I feel like it needs to be said, but let's get into it. So as per usual, I want to start off by showing you guys the before of what the drawer is looking like. It is a mess, as you can see. So I'm going to pull this out, put it on my table so we can like fully see everything and start going through it all. Here's just another quick overview now that you can see everything. I also had some foundations on top of my vanity, so I'm going to be going through those as well. And just in case, because I know I didn't actually mention this, this does include BB creams, CC creams, tinted moisturizers, etc. Okay, so starting off over here, I have my favorite Tarte Rainforest of the Sea water foundation. This is almost empty, so I will finish this up. If you saw my latest vlog, you already know that I repurchased this, but then it met a very ill fate. So I'm taking that as a sign that I should work on using up some of my other foundations before I repurchase this again. So that is what I'm doing. The foundation I have been reaching for recently has been the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh with SPF 30. It's kind of similar to the Rainforest of the Sea and I have really been loving that so that is staying. Once again, I do have a full face of first impressions where I tried this out that will be coming soon. Then we've got the new Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation. I'm going to swatch these on my hand because I think one of them was too dark for me. So we've got Stone on the bottom here and then meringue on the top. These are both from the like warm neutral kind of color group. I feel like that's really overexposed. There, I think you can see a little bit better. This one, the undertone doesn't look right for me, so I think I'll probably donate that one and I'll hang on to this. This one's still a little bit dark for me, but it's a shade I can use when I have a little bit more of a tan. So I'm gonna keep stone. I'm going to donate the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir. Beautiful foundation, but it just does really weird things on my skin and doesn't hold up. This one is brand new. I haven't used it yet, so it is staying for the time being. It is the Rimmel Insta Flawless Radiant Skin Tint. This is like a tinted moisturizer. It does seem very, very sheer, but I want to give it a shot. And then we've got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, which I actually have the other shade of here. I have reached for this a few times since I tested it initially. But I think it's just a little bit too matte for my liking and I also don't like the fact that I have to mix both of these shades to get an okay match. So I think I'm going to donate those as well. I'm a little torn on this one, but yeah, I think I'm going to donate these. Moving into the actual drawer, I'm going to get this one out of the way. This is the Imani Deluxe Cream Foundation. I just got this, obviously. It's brand new, so I'll hang on to that. I'm also going to be keeping the Dior Air Flash. I love this foundation. I seriously need to purchase it in a lighter shade. This is shade 301, which is like ultra dark for me. Like it is my shade when I am as tan as I can possibly get. And I think I'm getting a little bit low on it, but I will be saving it for like next summer probably when I have a tan again and I can actually use it. I'm also going to keep the Dermablend Smooth Liquid Camo. I do reach for this every so often. It's more of a full coverage. It says medium coverage on it, but Dermablend is known for like super heavy duty, like covering tattoos and birthmarks and things like that. It's probably my favorite at the moment when I want something really, really full coverage because it's not as heavy as some of the other foundations I have here, which I'll get to momentarily. Okay, this one I would definitely be getting rid of. It is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot. I did a first impressions on this. It's one of the worst foundations I have tried tried, 
but I'm going to hang on to it for like disappointing products videos and things like that and then I'll get rid of it eventually. I'm going to donate my Milani 2-in-1 foundation. I love the formula of this, but I have the original lightest shade, which is 01 Creamy Vanilla. They've since extended the shade range and they do have lighter options now, but this oxidizes on me. I can wear it when I have a tan, but I don't know, it's just not worth keeping for me. Maybe I'll eventually purchase one of the lighter shades that they have out now. See this guy here next. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. I bought this forever ago with the intent of reviewing it, but I just haven't. It's literally untouched, so I'll hang on to that for now, I guess. Then I've got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I'm going to hang on to this because I do actually really like it. It's not the most long wearing product on me because it is a little bit more hydrating and I am quite oily, but it does look really beautiful on the skin. And my skin has been getting like a little bit drier lately with the change of season. I think from Accutane, it kind of changed the way my skin reacts to the weather. So maybe I'll use this a bit more this winter. Another two that I had the intent to review but just have never gotten around to it is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm gonna keep this lighter shade and then donate this one because this one looks super orange. Next we've got the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. I think I'm actually going to toss this because it is quite old and I've used up quite a bit of it. It used to be one of my favorite foundations, but I just do not need this level of coverage anymore at all. And it is a really heavy foundation, which I just don't love anymore. I've definitely become less tolerant of super heavy foundations now that I don't need that in extreme coverage. So that's gonna be the first one going in the trash pile. I'm going to keep both of my Hourglass Vanish Stick foundations because I do reach for these on a pretty regular basis. Then we've got the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, one of the only foundations I own multiple shades of. This is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite from the drugstore, I love it. I'm going to keep shades 105 and 215 and I'm going to donate shade 210 because I barely use this. It's just a little bit too pink for me. It's not the best match, but these ones work pretty well. I can mix these two shades together too and kind of get a match no matter what my skin tone is. Another fantastic drugstore foundation is the CoverGirl 3-in-1. I'm going to donate this though because it's more coverage than I need at the moment and it is also a little bit too matte. But if you want something really long wearing from the drugstore and with really good coverage, I'd recommend this one. It's just not quite what I look for at the moment. The rest in here are L'Oreal once again. Super, super dirty in here, so I apologize for that. But I'm going to be throwing out my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is super old, haven't reached for it in forever. I did really like it, but I don't like matte foundations anymore, so that's getting tossed. Then we've got the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. So I did a review on this when I was on Accutane, when my skin was normal, and it was okay, but I didn't love it. Towards the end of Accutane though, when my skin actually started getting dry, it became one of my favorite foundations but it just, it's not a foundation that's going to work for me now, basically, I'm just too oily for it. But I kind of want to do a video at some point talking about my favorite foundations for Accutane, so I think I'll hang on to one and donate the other, but they'll both get donated eventually. Actually, I'm just going to donate both, I can just mention it if I ever do that foundation video. And then we've also got the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover, I think I'm just going to keep the light shade of this. I know people had really, really mixed feelings on this, and a lot of people with oily skin didn't necessarily like it, but I actually really enjoy it, I still reach for it on a regular basis, but I'll donate the darker shade, because I don't know if it's something I'll use in summer, because is heavier. Then we've got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, another foundation that I used while I was on Accutane and absolutely loved it, but I cannot get it to work for me now that my skin is oily. Believe me, I have tried. I have shade number four and I have used up a really good amount of this. So I'll probably put that in my friend pile. Then we've got the NARS All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation or whatever this is called. This is really old, ew. I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you guys see that separation? There's like a watery liquid here and then like all the pigment. That's nasty, that's getting thrown out. Another foundation that I love but I just honestly don't reach for anymore because I just don't need this level of coverage is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I will hang on to this though because as you can see I've used up most of it. I can probably finish it up. It does work extremely well for oily skin. Like it's one of the best I've found for staying matte on the skin and not like separating or getting really shiny. So I'm gonna make it a goal to try and use that up. Another one I'm going to throw out is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. It's another one that's just like horrendously old. It's got that same kind of like separation kind of look to it as the NARS. I have used up most of this I believe though. I talked about this in a video forever ago but if you look at the ingredients this is nearly identical to the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. So that's how I use this product just to kind of like boost the coverage of other foundations. It is also like way too light for me so I used it to lighten up foundations that were too dark. 
but it's just really old. I'm throwing it out. Okay, so now we are moving into the back portion of the store. This is mostly CC creams, BB creams, tinted moisturizers once again. First of all, I am definitely going to be keeping all of my IT Cosmetics CC creams. You guys know I love this. I've got fair and then light, and as you can see, I've put a considerable dent in both of these, so these are staying so I can use them up. And then I have a brand new tube of light, which was recently sent to me. Obviously going to keep that as well because I love this. It is hands down my favorite complexion product when it comes to like more lightweight products like CCs and BBs and stuff like that. Over here I have something that is extremely old. It is the Bomb Shelter Tinted Moisturizer. It is expired, that's getting thrown out. Still haven't tried this one. It is the Tarte Guard Tinted Moisturizer. That one's gonna be staying because I still really wanna try that. This is the Marcel City Tinted Cream. This is like a Canadian drugstore brand. I've tried this a couple times and I'm still kind of like iffy on it. I wanna try it out more though and see what I think. So that'll stay for now. Another one I haven't tried yet is the Pure Lease BB Cream with SPF 30. It's in the shade medium, so it's just kind of really dark for me and I keep forgetting to use it whenever I do have a tan, but I'll hang on to that one too for now. These guys right here are definitely staying. This is a Korean BB cream from the brand IPKN. I tested these out this summer and they are beautiful. Such full coverage, like so flawless, amazing for a BB cream. I'll link the video down below where I tested this out if you want to see it applied. Definitely gonna hang on to those. I do actually have a few foundations back here. These are all the Clinique Stay Matte. I haven't actually tried this. I've had it for a very long time. I think I need to swatch these and kind of decide on one. So I've got Alabaster, Ivory, and Cream Whip. These all look really pink, like especially these two. I don't know if they're showing up as pink as they are in person on camera. Even this looks too pink for me but I think it's probably the closest match, so I'll hang on to it for now and probably like swatch it on my jaw one day and see. And then I'm gonna donate the other two. I also have the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation in here. Bought it for a review, never reviewed it. Don't need it anymore. It does have salicylic acid in it, which products with salicylic acid that actually like stay on my skin don't tend to do that well for me. Like I kind of react funny to them. Sometimes they irritate my skin or like make me break out or dehydrate my skin, stuff like that. I'm okay with it in like cleansers and exfoliants, but in stuff like this, like foundations, it's a no-go, so I'm gonna donate that. I actually thought I lost that. One foundation that has like completely disappeared, it just vanished one day, I have no idea where it is, is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Never got rid of it, but like I honestly haven't seen it since like I reviewed it. <laughs> Another one that is so old and definitely expired is the Benefit Bigger Than BB Big Easy. I do really like this as well. I'm gonna toss that though, because it's nasty. If you guys can see, my Sephora number is engraved in there because I got in gratis, that's how old it is. I'm going to donate the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. This is honestly like the same as the 3-in-1 foundation. I have no idea what makes this a BB cream and it's too matte for my liking, so donate pile, it goes. I'm also going to donate the Essay Edit Skin Glowing Balm. This is like a really sheer, really hydrating and rich, kind of like tinted moisturizer product. It's nice to mix in with other foundations if you want to glow. Estee Edit is gone, and now I don't reach for it that often. There's no reason for me to keep it. I'm also going to donate the Vichy Tint Ideal Foundation. I mentioned a while ago that if I hadn't used this again by the end of summer, I was going to part ways with it, and I just haven't reached for it. It's a nice foundation, but it's water-based and a little bit tricky to deal with. Like, it doesn't do very well with many other products, so. I'm gonna donate that one too. Another old one that's not even a foundation. This is the BB Tinted Treatment Primer. If you've been subscribed to me forever, you may remember that I used to love this. Super old, throwing it away. I should add for those of you who haven't been watching me for that long, I like this because it does give an extra layer of coverage under your foundation. So if you do want like super full coverage, it is a really good primer and you can use it on its own too. Then I've got the Bioderma CBM. This is a two-in-one tinted skin perfecting care. It's got like a green corrector in the top. Haven't used this, I don't think I'll try it, so I'll donate it. I think I'm also honestly going to donate the Pure Bear It All Foundation. I do like this, but I just don't reach for it, and it's once again another foundation where like the shades aren't the best match for me. I do have to mix them, and it's just not the best foundation. I do really like how it looks on the skin, but I just don't reach for it. I just have too many products. All we've got left now is the cushions and then also like kind of a cream compact in there. Going to start off with this one. This is the Pure Air Perfection CC Cushion. 
I have kind of mixed feelings on this. It is beautiful on this skin, but it's very hydrating and not long wearing on my oily skin. Once again though, I am getting drier, so maybe I'll have to revisit it. And this is also like a refill for it, by the way. A lot of like higher end and actual like Korean brand cushion compacts come with a refill like this. Then we've got the Bioderma Photoderm SPF 50. I'm gonna swatch this. I know I swatched it before. It's like a little fingerprint in there, but it looks so dark. Mm. That looks really, really pink. Yeah, I see that. It's like very sheer, but like really straight up pink. I'm gonna donate that one. With actual cushions, I don't know if I'm able to donate them at my local women's shelter because I don't know if they're like considered hygienic with the sponge and everything. I'm going to put these in the kind of like friend pile, but I'm gonna figure out if I can donate them first. But for now, they're gonna go in the friend pile. This is the Maybelline Dream Cushion. Maybelline foundations just do not agree with my skin. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. This was my favorite that I've tried, but it still doesn't actually work for me. I think it only wears for about like five hours on me if I remember correctly, so not keeping that one. Same with this one, it's gonna go in the friend pile. It is the Etude House cushion. Obviously, it has got super cute packaging. If I'm gonna reach for a product like this, I'll probably reach for that IPKN BB cream. Like This also has really full coverage for a cushion, but I'm just not gonna reach for it. I'm trying to be pretty cutthroat with this declutter if you guys haven't already noticed. And then finally, I'm going to throw out the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. It doesn't work for me and it's really old. So I just put everything in kind of their final groups. Over here, we have got friends. This is going in the garbage. This is donation. And then this is what I am keeping. So overall, I am keeping 27 products, but getting rid of 32, which I think is pretty good. Definitely still more foundation right here than any one person needs. But I do get sent product and YouTube is my job. So that's just kind of how things go. I'm gonna like wipe everything down and clean it off and then put it back in the drawer so we can get a little after shot and see what everything is looking like. So this is the finished drawer. It is definitely so much better better. This back section over here is actually just BB creams, etc. now, which is really nice. There's no foundations back there. And this is what the front section is looking like. And once again, some of these foundations that I use like all the time will definitely go on top of my vanity. I just kind of put them in here for the sake of organization. So it'll have even more free space typically. Yeah, that is it. This is a very successful declutter in my opinion. We are all done. It always feels so good wrapping up a decluttering video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, let me know in the comments what area of my makeup collection you want to see me declutter next. But go follow me everywhere on social media. I'm at Sari Rihanna on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And hit that subscribe button down below if you are new here. I would really appreciate it. But I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.